Hello and welcome to Let's Play Toho Fu Maroku The Story of Eastern Wonderland Don't ask why it's not The Story of The Eastern Wonderland or Story of Eastern Wonderland because I don't have the answer except maybe that Zune sucks at grammar Anyway, this game is copyrighted by Zune It wasn't made on any year because there's no year mentioned Don't ask how he did that, I do not know Actually, the game was made in 1997. Uh, we have a super short and fat Reimu in the background on her knees, or maybe he's, she's jumping, not sure. She has super, 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 ultra, mega, awesome, blue-tastic, thick hair. Purple, of course, because that's how she goes. And uh, she makes some kind of weird motion with her arms and her fingers sticking out uh, like guns, I guess. Uh, I was going to do a blind let's play of this on normal, but sadly my whole computer crashed in the middle of stage 3, so you're going to get a semi-blind LP where stages 1 and 2 are not blind. Doesn't really matter that much, because, you know, they're easy. Um, plot. There is plot in this game. Remu comes back from a random training session in the mountains, and uh, something's going to happen at the shrine. I'm going to see that. So let's just start. As you can see, this game has an English translation. Uh, this was made by some guy at ShrineMaiden.org and I'll credit him properly in the credits because he deserves it. Uh, we have three different types for Remu here. Going to use the middle one because it's in the middle. Go! <clears throat> so, this game. It is a Danmaku shooter, the first one in the series. Note that Remu can't fly still. So uh, she's actually on her pet turtle, a very old turtle called Genji, I think. So that uh, Genji is her means of transportation, I guess. This game has power and bombs and points like the usual ones, I guess. Except that power is shown by the growing bar at the bottom right. Uh, bombs are the yin yang orbs, no, are the thing over the yin yang orbs on the right, the yin yang orbs being lives. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, point items, there's no point of collection, so uh, you've got to do your best to grab all those items falling on the screen. We're now being attacked by turrets. Mechanical stuff in the Toho game. Uh, don't go at the edges of the stream, otherwise a turret will spawn on you, I guess. Almost happened the first time. Hey, a tank! Awesome! Let's kill that tank! Boom! That was fast. Stuff falling. Anyway, uh, you, anyway, sorry. As you can see, we're going back to the Hakurei Shrine, and apparently there's lots of monsters going on. What's going on? The shrine was invaded or something? Weird. Uh, another thing. There is no focus in this game. Which means that, of course, you can't see your hitbox, but that, that only appeared at Perfect Cherry Blossom anyway. But it means it's going to, going to be pretty hard to dodge precise stuff. Uh, hell's Yeah? No, not Hell's Yeah at all, actually. Let's get that power. And those enemies, didn't mention it earlier, they're called Mr. Ghosties. There's, they're the PC-98 series equivalent of uh, Nameless Fairies, basically. And there's a freaking lot of them. More stuff. More Mr. Ghosties. Let's get the points. In this game you get an extra life every 100,000... Uh, 1 million points. You discovered that during the actual blind section of this. Now we're going to encounter a boss! Here she is. Yeah, a lot of ghosts. Remu looks flustered, I guess. And she looks fat here too. And here's the portrait for our turtle Genji. He calls Remu Milady. Just read the dialogue, I already read it earlier. A human. And here she is. She has formulas in the background, I guess. Square root of Kappa? 
and something which is like a you katakana, I guess. She created all the monsters, and wow, this makes Reimu fall on her head. That must hurt. And uh, somehow, yeah. And that's not suspicious. Ah! Question mark slash exclamation mark. She's angry. Now going to face her greatest creation. Another tank! Yeah, Reimu is the greatest shrine maiden ever. Notice that if you start the ba battle at the top of the screen, then you will die instantly. It happened to me the other time. The thing is that you can't move during the dialogue sequence. So, uh, you can lose a life very stupidly there. Anyway, this is our first boss. And this game, bosses don't have spell cards and don't have life bars. And it's really a shame. Ooh, lasers! And it's really a shame that the PC-98 games don't have spell cards at all, because it's really one of the things which makes the charm of the Toho series. Well, the Windows Toho series, I guess. Let's just chase that girl or not. Let's go to stage two, and I got an extra life because uh, I got over a million points. Now I have three extra lives going on for me. Stage two. It's a red stage. Awesome. Let's beat some stuff up. Bats! No, not bats! Everyone hates bats. God damn bats, I should say. Well, they're not that bad in this game. And now it's... Eyes! Woo! Evil eyes! Scary! It's actually quite... I like the way that they chase after you, so even if they start off low on the screen, you can still beat them easily. Uh, in this game, like all the other Toho games, I think, uh, the value for a point item is determined by uh, how high on the screen you get it. So, uh, you can take risks if you feel like doing it. And here's a mid-boss! Uh, it's probably some kind of girl, and we can we see her from very from a top-down sort of view, and she's already exploded. Oh, poor girl! More eyes. This time they start shooting stuff. Okay, and point items. But uh, this is normal mode, so really. It's supposed to be very easy until at least mid-game. Story of Eastern Wonderland is apparently famous for having lots of unfair stuff which is pretty impossible to survive unless you know it's coming. But apart from that, it's alright. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, there was already that surprise kill by the first boss if you end the level le high on the screen. Which was really a comical part, I guess, of the video you're not seeing. Damn, computer cr actually crashing. Well, it's Zoom's fault for making games on obscure Japanese personal computers, really. And we have to use emulators and stuff. Okay, let's stay at the bottom of the screen in just in case. Oh, more eyes. La la la. So, I actually have a quite spread shot type, I see. Which, you know, useful for stages, not so much for bosses. And the green part is actually homing. Interesting. Okay, this is getting a bit long. The music even... Oh, I'm at max power again. Well, I'm not sure why I'm saying again, because this is the first time. Okay, let's meet our boss. Something stinks. And here she is! Random samurai girl! She wants to take the Hakure. Whatever that means. She wants to take take Reimu or take the shrine. And she has a flashing thing at the edge of her sword there. Oh, she wants Hakure's power. Reimu doesn't want to fight. Stupid girl! Double exclamation mark. Double exclamation mark again! How the hell do you talk? It's all wrong. Wow, Mayra Shaw is an excited girl. All the exclamation marks. 
fight fight. I didn't get that reference, oh well. Maybe someone will explain it. This girl has quite rep repetitive repetitive patterns. There's random stuff and aim stuff. Most of it is created by slashing her sword, which is kinda neat. But it's never hard. La la la. I think he's going to change now. No, still homing. Well, aim, sorry. Homing. Wow, this is scary, but I guess I can sight dodge it somehow. La la la. Aim stuff. Now random stuff. Aim stuff. Randomish stuff. 